So before we can start, uh, we have few people here uh, which didn't attend the last class. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, yeah. Everyone, good afternoon. Shall we proceed? Yes. Pakana, online back. Shall we proceed? Yes, sir. Okay. So last class was rearranged uh, for chemistry because sir was absent, right? So many people are not there. So I'm just going to revise what we have done. Let me see. We have some pages. What we have done? Mendel's law. First, monohydrate cross. Right? I just revise because we are going to do questions. First, monohydrate. One character to go with any character, capital T, capital T, or capital R, capital R, any character. Out of seven pair of contrasting trade gives the law of segregation, right? And it means what during the formation of gamete, these two factors are going to segregate, right? That's why Mendel said pair of factor will segregate during the formation of gamete. So, from this monohydrate clause, we get what law of inheritance, right? Law of inheritance will be divided into two law of dominance and Law of segregation. Pakana, this we have done. Law of dominance. And second is law of segregation. Pakana, now try and understand what the ratio he got. 1 is 2, 2 is 2, 1. For genotype, Pakana. I am not doing because this is a revision class. Everyone is okay? Yes, sir. And for phenotype, what he got? 3 is to 1. Pakana. So, this is the genotype ratio, this is the phenotype ratio. Try and understand we have discussed the chromosome and the gene. Pakka. So, genes will be present on chromosome. Right now? Then, what he thought that genes are independent units they are discrete unit yes or no mm, yes. now we know that chromo genes will be present on chromosome only so if chromosome is moving genes present on it we are going to move along with this yes or no but Mendel didn't know anything about it what he thought these factors are discrete unit mm. like gene 1 we have 30,000 genes in our body mm. after human genome project according to Mendel how many chromosomes we have 30,000 but now, but now we know we have only 23 chromosome, 30,000 genes. Mm -hmm. It means on each chromosome we have multiple, multiple genes. Yes or no? Mm -hmm. That's why he proposed this. Pakana. So he come up with two law. Both the law in your NCRT is given under law of, law of inheritance. Yes. So, law of dominance means he explained the genes only. He, he said what in law of dominance? That genes are discrete unit. They are not going to blend. They are separate means they are going to be entity. There is no blending. Blending means what? You can't mix them. It's not like you are going to mix them. I am going to use a higher class thing if people are after going to party. In college, right? freshers are there and you will enjoy, right? So that's called blending, scotch or anything, you put water there. Mixed now, no more separation. Like that, there is no blending in case of Mendel's character. It means what? The factors or the genes, he said, is discrete. They are never blended. Right. Then what he said, under law of dominance, that whatever the character appear in F1 is the dominant character. Yes or no? All the office springs will show dominant character in F1. Akana. So he gave law of dominance. Means what? Characters which appear at F1 is called dominant character. One and sample line answer. Then 
for law of segregation he explained this that the pair of factor is going to segregate from each other during the formation of gametite i told you people that this question is going to be in re relevance with cell cycle at which stage of cell cycle this is going to happen meiosis yes meiosis dear gamete formation means meiosis but at what stage anaphase 1 or 2 Ana phase one. In two, just the sister chromatids got separated. Come on, let's go on. Pakka na? Everyone? So, law of segregation. Any problem here? Monoamide cross. Now, you people are in class thirteen. You don't have to perform this experiment. Just out of four, you have to take one within a minute. Pakka? Can we go ahead? Next, what we have seen? Dihybrid cross. Right? Dihybrid cross. What we have seen in dihybrid cross? A ratio of nine is two. This is the ratio now. And this one and this one are parental type. Yes or no? Yes. Paka na? We have seen na? Then. In order to explain this variation, how come the six children is getting cross phenotype? He gave a law called law of independent assortment. Yes or no? So law of independent assortment. How we are going to say? Say, bacha. Yes. Pair of alleles. Pair of factors. Factors means genes only. In Mendel term, pair of factors segregate from each other independently during cell division, not gamete formation. Yes or no? This concept we are not going to apply for gamete formation, right? So, if we have capital D, capital D, capital R, capital R, this movement of this two and movement of this two are independent of each other. Means what I am trying to say here. We have twenty-three chromosomes, right? Pair. So chromosome one migration is not going to depend upon chromosome two, three, four, so on and so forth until twenty-three. Yes or no? Yes. Sir. They are independently migrating, and that is the concept of independent assortment. Clear? And that's why we are getting this result because of that only. Because the chromosome is going to be present, uh, gene is going to be present on chromosome. So individual chromosome having this gene will uh, assorting independent of each other. Yes or no? That's why we got this. Everyone is getting this. Okay. Then what we have done? Chromosomal theory of inheritance. Mendel was unaware of its finding, and the people at his time were too converted to him because he used mathematics and so on and so forth. So his findings with. Not be evaluated. Uh, whatever you have done is not too good to be recognized. That people have rediscovered. Scientists who have rediscovered. I gave you people home on who rediscovered that. Debris. Debris. Cornies and. Kalpana. Biology teacher. Carl Corrins. Carl Corrins. Debris. And mark. Okay. Mark. Mark. Okay. So these are the people who he discovered Mendelian genetics. Important because given in NCERT. Yeah. Now, since Mendel has no knowledge of gene, chromosome, anything, so what he said? Factors. In chromosomal theory of inheritance, what these two people have said? Who gave the Mendelian theory of inheritance? Sorry, chromosomal theory of inheritance. Bobri and Sutton. Sutton. Sutton and Bobri gave the chromosomal theory of inheritance. Try and understand. This is a chromosome. Yes or no? Yes. Sir. And it has genes present on this at a particular locus. This is P and this is Q1. Yes or no? Yes. Sir. So what these two people say, the behavior of gene and behavior of chromosome is same. Yes or no? So chromosomal theory of inheritance is what? It's a justification for Mendel's work. Mm -hmm. Justice for 
Mendel's work for both law of inheritance and law of independent assortment. Law of inheritance means law of dominance and segregation together. Pakka na? Those three rediscovered the Mendel's work and these two. These two has given this and proved the work of Mendel. Yeah, whatever Mendel has done is correct. Yes or no? So these two, Sutton and Bovary, have explained the behavior of chromosome. Indirectly, they are explaining what? Behavior of genes present on this. Yes or no? Yes. Sir. So, clear or not? People are getting online batch. This is a revision we have done. Everyone is clear now? Pakka. I just. Then, we have seen linkage and recombination. Right? So for linkage, recombination, try and understand here. This is done by Morgan. Next experiment, Morgan. So Morgan was taking, like Mendel has taken a pea plant. This guy, Morgan, has taken Prosophila, fruit fly, for his experiment. And he wants to get the Mendel uh, ratio 1 is to 2 is to 1, or 3 is to 1, or 9 is to 3, 3 is to 1. But he's not getting that. But he's not getting that. So he's become confused and mad what happened, what I've done wrong. Yes or no? Then his student is the name is Stuart. Morgan and Stuart. So his student, what he did, he explains to him and together they have put the theory of linkage. Linkage means what? Linked. Something is linked. Yes or no? When genes are going to be present on same chromosome, they are linked or not? Yes. Paka? So they give this only. So whatever the variation they are getting, they have chosen the characters for crossing hybridization which are present on same chromosome. Pakka na? Morgan is not getting Mendel's result. Why? Because whatever the character he is studying will be present on same chromosome and thus the result will not the same. Yes or no? Pakka na? So he said same thing. He explained linkage that when genes are linked they won't behave like Mendel. Yes or no? We will get different ratio. Getting idea? Sir, if it is linked in this chromosome, then it was not P plant. There were, but the character is chosen, seven character will be present. They are not. He got lucky. Lucky, that's why that point lucky is. Pata? Understood? Linkage means they are going to be present on the same. Now try and understand here, I said a complete linkage one. If I am taking this gene, A and B, and this gene, right, A and F, which one is more closely linked? This one is more closely linked because they are very near to each other and this is not closely linked. Now understand why this is there, recombination. Meiosis, at which stage will get crossing over? Okay, right? Meiosis, profess, what are the stages? Still not remember, huh? LZPD square, leptotene, gigotene, bicotene, diplotene, dikinesis. Paka? Here, condensation, synaptonemal complex, crossing over, chasma formation, synaptonemal complex dissolved, just attach it, chasma, dikinesis. Paka? So at this stage, we'll have a crossing over event. Now try and understand what Mendel has done. Meiosis occurred or not occurred? In case of Mendel. Occurred, no? Pakka? Then, crossing over also happened? Yes or no? In case of Mendel, he didn't get to notice it. Yes, sir. Now try and understand, if this one is undergoing meiosis to produce gamete, and crossing over is going to occur, can we separate these two genes? No, not possible. Because they are so near to each other, if crossing over occur also, they will shift to the same chromosome. Again, they are, they are going to be together. Yes or no? But there is a possibility that this is going to be changed. 
linking of this group uh, group is going to be changed because the crossing of is going to like this it will be going on different chromosome now this is no longer present on the same linked group yes or no that's why these two are closely linked and this is not understood this concept pakka na everyone so this is about linkage and recombination now in your book it's given the picture are not have to be so in your book what, what is given can you this picture seen yeah that day i have taken extra class now that's why yes seen this picture seen he has taken morgan has taken two crosses two characters at a time right first cross what he did body color and eye color body color and eye color in normal drosophila which is wild type the body color is gray and eye is red okay while the mutant one the body color will be yellow and eye will be white now when they cross what they got recombination but the genes of these two characters are so close to each other that the recombination percentage is 1 point something less while in second cross when he take the body color and wings the distance between two genes is so far that you get higher percentage of recombination yes or no yes i told you same thing now that link closely linked genes are not closely linked genes pakka that is the result from that that you are saying now it's okay understood something Ah yes. Ah. Dear, you are getting something. Today is your demo, but I am not giving proper demo. Done, na? Yes. Okay. Anything you didn't understood? I can't do it. <laughs> okay. Then what we have seen? The incomplete dominance and complete uh, incomplete dominance and co-dominance. Incomplete dominance means what? Ah, uh, there are genes that completely dominate. Suppose we have two extremes. Suppose we have two extremes, right? One is this one, and one is this one. Incomplete dominance means what? At this end or this end, or somewhere else? In the middle. Yes or no? N neither extreme. This between. So this is completely dominant. This is completely recessive. This is incomplete dominance. Yes or no? So if we are taking red. And white. What is here? Pink. Yes or no? Pakka na. And I told what is this? Pink means not mixture of red and white. It is not the mixture of red and white. It means half the amount of gene is getting expressed. Partial expression. Exactly. So this is like this only, right? Or wrong? Let me know. Pakka na. So here we have ten gram. Suppose one gene is able to express ten gram of protein, means we are getting five gram of protein. So here we are getting ten gram. Yes or no? Here we are getting only five grams. Here zero grams. So here the color will be bright red. Here it's going to be just pink. And here no color at all. No color means white. White is not in color. Yes or no? Black or red. Yes. Yes. Got it. So here there is no expression at all. That's why incomplete dominance. Co-dominance means what? When Co both are expressing the themselves. Co-dominance. Example. Blood group. A B O and or M L blood group. Yes or no? Pakka. Then we have discussed polygenic inheritance. Polygenic means what? Poly means many. genic means gene gene so if genes why are many genes controlling one character that's called polygenic polygenic inheritance example given no, example of skin color skin color right right example given in your ncert is skin color means polygenic then pleiotropy pleiotropy means what just opposite of polygenic inheritance what i told here what i told here Single gene controls many characters. Exactly. So I told here in polygene that many genes will contribute to a single phenotype. 
Yes. Now a single, just opposite to this, is what? Heliotropic integration. One gene controlling many phenotypes. One gene controlling many phenotype is example of heliotropic integration. Akka, this much we have done in last class. Pakka na? So with this, we are going to shift the question. Any doubt, tell now, please let me know. Otherwise, ready for Prashadam. This question. Try to do. Right? If you are not getting it. Online batch. Gene do not occur in pairs in zygote, somatic cell, endosperm, uh, endosperm cell, or uh, gametes. Okay. Online batch. Hey, Baba, you are yes, giving a word. Only one person is replying. Whatever Anjana, Bhavika, Devrat, Gayatri, Manal, uh, then Sanmukha. Pakka, what is the ploidy of this? Pakka, this one? This one? Pakka, now here one, genes do not occur in pair in gamete, means which law followed here? Segregation. Which law followed? Segregation. Law of segregation happened here because of that the pair of factors segregated. Pakka, next question. In a plant, gene A is responsible for tallness and its recessive allele A is for darkness and B is responsible for red color and its recessive allele B for white color. A tall and red flower plant with genotype this crossed with dwarf and red flower with genotype this. What is the percentage of dwarf white flower of a spring of a of cross? Let me know. Copy pen. Calculate. All in batch, fast answer. If you people are able to do this question, these topics are clear to you. You want that here? Yeah. Compromise much more. Only one minute you people have in final exam, right? But here, enjoy the two, three minutes, any long you are going to take, no problem. Yes, dear. Can you? What do you want? To check it? Online batch, fast. Just here. Give me here. You don't know? Yes. Option C. I don't know, dear. I have to tell you. Done. 
एक सेकंड डू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन Okay, you people are not getting a word. Uh, a white flower, Marvelis plant RR was crossed with red color RR. If 120 plants are produced in the oxygenation, the result would be. Now here the catch here. You understood? This is snapdragon. Means what? Incomplete dominance. But na given in your NCERT. It means what? You have to produce three different types. One is red, one is pink, and one is white. Mm -hmm. Which one? So 120. Kya sa hai? One is two, two is two, one. There's a phenotype and genotype. Both na? Pakka. Now, these two are together. And this is one. I think 90 uniformly colored and 30 white. No. How is it? all colored and no white. 90 non uniformly colored, red plus pink. And 30 white. What is the problem here? Second option. I got non uniform or a random equation. No, no problem. The NTA people will have problem. I don't know. I'm very generous heart. I give mark to you. But what about that? Non uniform is red and pink. They are not uniform in coloration. Pakana? Written also. See how good the teacher was who said this before. 96. Doesn't matter. They are going to collect question and they are going to get it. My point is NCRT must be there. Out of NCRT, don't do it. Everyone got this? Shall we go ahead? All color, no white. Yes, dear. All yes, color, sir. no white. How come this is possible? Why three? There must be now. In F2 generation, they are saying. So you have to apply this. 1 is to 2 is to 1. Gayatri, got it? Gayatri? Yes, sir. Uh, dear. Parents, red and white. Okay, do this question.
smallest yeah. circular economy. Circular economy. Yeah. 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 option one. One second, dear. I'll say. Now, uh, study the pedigree chart given below. What does it show? Well, let me know now. The returns of the condition like so so from NCI to be there. And I gave, ask you so people about it. Yeah, just for so I, I will. I will. So, what I told you here, how to do this, so pedigree also we have done. Uh, Ranjan, let, let us know also so that we can see. Option C is correct. What is here? I told people how to study pedigree. First, why we need pedigree? To feed our pets. Right? <laughs> yes or no? No? To feed our pets. Nowadays, so much gravy is there and so options. More options than a vegetarian person. Yes or no? For a vegetarian only, paneer is <laughs> Or you can go super fast there, now they have chops, vegan chop, enjoy the nonsense, yes or no, at least you can have a paneer and you know what taste you are going to expect, right, yes or no, then in order to study the human genetics, yeah, we can't, it's not ethical to do an experiment on human beings, we will come up with this chart, but nowadays this chart is no more possible. Because we have more advanced technique to know the disease. Just take out some amniotic fluid and done with the disease condition. Yes or no? Mm -hmm. Now earlier what people do in order to prepare a chart, family history, they represent male with a female with a square. Female with a square. Male with a box. Females. With a circle. Circle. And male. Square. Okay, good. And the transgender with when the sex is not specified. Clear? Now what happened? If there is a mating, then we are going to represent like this. Correct? Mating means you are going to represent like this. If there is a blood mating, you are going to represent like this with two men. Male and female producing. Done? Now if male and female is going to mate, they will produce something. So the offsprings will be represented like this. Clear? Now from here, this is the first child, second child, third and fourth. Clear? So this is how it is. Now understand everything is normal here. If you are going to fill this, if you are going to fill this completely red, Right? Completely red. Filled means solid structure if you are getting. It means there is a symptom. The offspring is affected. Clear? Everywhere. Now try and understand what is the meaning of this one then. Just a dot in between. Carrier. They are carrier. They are not showing the symptom but their one gene is affected and they are not able to produce the phenotype because one gene is functional but they can pass this particular carrier gene to the children pakkana getting now what happened what you have to study how you have to study so there are two types of diseases one disease must be dominant in nature one disease must be recessive in nature pakkana one is dominant one is recessive 
So if the gene is recessive, what I'm saying, this is the question. This how you are going to solve the question. If the gene is or the disease is recessive in nature, then there is a generation skip. There is a generation skip. In one generation, you are not going to see any person affected. Next generation, the person will be affected. So generation must be skipped in case of recessive disease. While in case of dominant disease, there is no generation skip. Every generation, you see the condition. All and batch clear? Done now? Now in case of, now the second type of yes, criteria is sex linked or autosomal. So we have 22 pair of autosomes plus one sex chromosome or allosome. So if the gene is going to be present on these 22 chromosomes, they are called as autosomal. And if the gene is going to be present on this X chromosome, why we don't care? Nobody cares about boys. X. Clear? Means either X chromosome, X linked G or sex chromosome. Clear? Pakara? Now try and understand here. If the gene, whatever disease we are studying, is X linked or sex linked, it means proportion will be different. It means proportion will be different. So boys will get more affected as compared to girls. Why? Because in girls we have two copy of X chromosome. If one copy is not working, other will be taking care of that. But in case of male, we have only one X chromosome now. So if one is done means, thank you. Yes or no? Yes. That's why the proportion of male getting affected in case of sex linked disease is more compared to female. Done. Mm -hmm. While in case of autosome, we have 20 to 22 equality is there. So, the male and female affected individuals are going to be same. Mm -hmm. Done. Okay. Understood. So, these are the two parameters to just just. Now, try and understand. There is a generation skip happening or not? Yes. There is no disease in parents. Then suddenly, it's appeared here. Yes or no? Again, the parents are not affected and suddenly the disease appeared here. So, it's a recessive one. Pakana, what about uh, sex linked or autosomal? Uh, sex linked is passed from mother to son and father to Yes, proportion here. One, two male, one female. Sex linked, no? With just two one ratio, we can't decide. If it is autosomal, sorry, sex link, you can clearly see differentiation here, not like that. If it is, so try, try and understand, if this is a sex link, right, what about the father? What about father? Showing the condition or not? Can be the father a carrier for a sex link disease? No, no, no. no. Possible? No. Paka? Yes. At that point also. If you don't know, see the father. So it's an autosomal, online batch. Clear now? If father is clear, it means it is not sex. I don't know how people arrive at this point. But this is an anxiety question. Shall we go ahead, everyone? Got it? Pakkar? Chal. A colorblind man made uh, marry a normal lady with whose father was colorblind. If it is produced two sons. Colorblind is a sex link. Colorblind is a sex link now too. Everyone?
How many of them would be Shafa? Both sons, both daughter, one son, one daughter, both one son, one son and one daughter. Suffer. 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 Father is affected, right? And mother is normal? Mother is a normal lady whose father was color blind. Is a carrier. Father means color blind means the lady is going to be carrier. In this point we have missed. Okay? Then what happened? Learn. Carrier. Affected. Okay, no? So one son and one daughter is affected. Both son, hey. Both daughters, one son, one daughter. How many people get what A is the answer? Online batch, you people are doing it or not? I'll take the attendance first. Done now? Okay, shall we go ahead? Not able to justify it. People are not doing it fast. Mm. Inheritance of skin color in human being is an example of polygenic inheritance. Absence, yes. sir. Thank you. A child is blood group. Uh, a child is blood group. Uh, so his parent blood group cannot be so simple. I'm just saying AB. AB. AB means either the parent is going to supply A or B, then the blood group become A or B. For O, never. No parent could be. My whole family, no blood group. Super, no? Anyone can drink anyone's blood, right? Understand? In tomato genotype A, A, B, B, C, C produces 100 gram R, ah, this I want. Just now I saw. You know now this one. We have done questions on this. Okay, try once. Just you have to add the amount. producing 100 gram right and this is producing 160 gram what is the contribution of each polygene so first what you have to do 160 minus 100 how much 60 gram is the actual total contribution because when no of the gene is producing anything how much weight we are getting 100 gram no expression 100 gram everything is getting expressed 160. So what, how much they are contributing? Okay, this is the tomato weight. No, nothing get expressed, 100. Yes. Everything get expressed? 160. 160. So what actual contribution they are providing? 160 okay. minus 100. So 60, they are producing once everything is getting expressed. Every allele. Yes or no? So how many alleles are there? Six. Three genes. How many alleles? Six. Divided by six. six. How much? Ten. Not it. Good. Thank you. Try and understand this. 
I told you people that if many genes are there, that day we will calculate it also, right? So if we are writing a small letter, it means that gene is not getting expressed. Same thing, capital R is 5 gram of protein, again capital R, 10 gram of protein, red color. One capital R only, 5 gram of the protein, only pink color is there. Yes or no? Now understand here, if suppose one gene is expressing a set amount of protein, suppose 5 gram. Yes or no? Each one contributing 5 gram of the protein. For this genotype, how much protein will make? For this genotype, you understood what I am asking here? One allele mm -hmm. is contributing 5 gram. If, if it is getting expressed, mm -hmm. then only it is contributing. Yes, yes then? So 5 plus 5? No. 10? 20? 25. One is getting expressed? No. Not getting expressed. Then again, how much? Done now? Same, do for this. If 10 gram is getting expressed by one particular array. Again 30 only? 30 gram. Okay, 30 gram. Pakka na? Now apply the same concept here now. We have done now this one. Sir, but there is no small gene only in the second case. So how we are uh, like applying the case key 100 gram? Because it is given. See, two statements are given. Here, when no of the gene is contributing, what is the weight? 100. Now when everything is getting expressed, 160. So it means what is the actual contribution of these genes? 60 only now. And how many genes are contributing? Six. Yes or no? So, six ali. So, 60 divided by six. six. Ten. Pakka na? Okay. So, the first case is the reference point. Yes. Otherwise, the, what you have said, how we are going to care? No. Yes or no? Online batch. Clear there, everyone? Yes, sir. Oh, yes. Sir. with me. Nobody is going to care. Mm -hmm. Huh? What? 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 Okay. Uh, you, you can do more question on that, right? Mm -hmm. If they give any way, just you have to apply what? Logic. Logic. Study the given pedigree carefully, trait what is here. Now this is something you need to come up with. I have not said this. Ah. Sir B. Okay. Any 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 anyone else? I told him. At least listen to me. I told him I have not said this. You are seeing some unusual things here. What? Sir, father is starting. Try and see. Father is there. None of the child is affected. When mother is coming in picture, affected, everyone is affected. Who is the one who contributes mitochondria to the mother? MD? Mother only, no? Something mitochondrial thing is there. So if mitochondrial gene is playing a significant role, then mother mother will be affected and all the children, because the mother is contributing to everyone, mitochondria. So why it can't be X-linked? So if father is affected, why not this? Any, any, any. And what is the case here? Everyone, why getting affected? So their mothers are affected. Uh, but anyone, at least carrier. At least a carrier. Try and see now, if mother is affected, everyone, everyone, not even a single child is not affected. What is now? See, the point is, in one, if any, this one is, you know, for one generation, we can't predict. Prediction will be based upon many generation analysis. Getting idea? So, if you are getting only one generation, our parent didn't have this disease. Why we are it? Maybe super parents. Getting idea? So, pedigree means many generation effect will be seen and uh, 
this one which technique is used by mendel for hybridization sir d everyone now then four so mental backing and masculation he removed the anther and he covered the flower mental did not propose dominance in complete dominance and segregation independent assortment pakka na given by mental given by mental given by mental not given by the percentage of ab gametes produced by a and bb parents will be past So easy. So easy. Are you first right? How come? Calculate. 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 What is your gametes? So they have A, B, and O. So gametes are A, A, B, B. Right? They need to be produced gametes. Right? So what type of gametes they will produce? A double digit of the bus here to our right one then only this now they are asking for this only now ab gamete right so 1 by 4 1 by 4 into 100 okay. 35 right okay. uh two allelic genes are located on Allele genes, allele will be present on homologous chromosome. Yes, yes or no? Yes. One from mother, one from father is called homologous chromosome. Yes or no? Chromosome one from mother, chromosome one from father, homologous chromosome, no? Yes. So allele will be present there, okay, no? Alternate form of gene. Yes or no? So which one? Second. Okay, na? Everyone, online batch. You people are getting? Or just chilling? With Netflix. Oh. Ah. Uh, yes, sir. Good. Thank you. Only two, three people are studying. This is the genotype from how many gamete? Ah, uh, that formula I gave you. Two n. Two n. Ah, how many? Three. How many heterozygous pair is there? Two. What is n here? Number of heterozygous pair. Yes or no? So here, this one is not going to take part because for every gamete, either only capital A is going to do, not contributing any significance there. Only heterozygous pair will be counted. So two heterozygous pair, two raised to power two. How many gametes? Four. Akka na. If you want, you can draw also. So the formula to calculate gamete is 2n, and n is nothing but hetero heterozygous condition. Pakka? Yes, sir. Any proof for this? How many type of gametes? One, two. Two, three, eight. Okay. Two raised to power three, eight. Got it? In a cross between a pure tall plant with a green pod and a pure short plant with yellow pod, how many short plants are produced in F2 generation out of sixteen? How many short plants are produced? You don't have to do every time. Just make a chart now. Ah. Okay, forget. Take two more. Next question. Mendel ratio nine to three is due to. Log independent assortment. Hey, Baba. We go to Himalaya, okay? Now after this class, Himalaya, okay? We enjoy there only. This. <laughs> How many types or types and in what ratio the gametes are produced by a dihybrid heterozygote? Ah, uh, let me know. One. Dihybrid heterozygote. How many types? Two. 
that's for sure, no? I put it. Yes. Four. Fair. And in what ratio? One is to two is. One is to one is to one. Ah, not getting. A A B B. Die hybrid heterozygous condition is there, no? What the? One type of gamete. Different type of gamete. Yes or no? Yes. How many different type of gamete? Four. And huh? in what ratio? One is two. One is two. One is two. One is two. At least the chances are there. Because this is a chance even. Pakka? What I'm saying here? See, we are saying that uh, either boy or girl. Yes or no? But it's not like now after a boy only girl will be produced. Maybe after a boy another boy or after a girl another girl. Getting idea? So one is two. Sorry, one is two, one is two. Uka. What no? Online batch, people got? Yes. On their behalf. Okay. A cross between this one and this one, it's a genotype ratio of first. Second, I don't know. I've done don't do by my always do by writing. Please, in exam also don't use this one for calculation. May you miss something. How many type of gametes will you produce? Here only this one, no? Yes, and here? Right? Okay. So how many type, what is there? So, so much time. How many type of gamete? Genotype is Right? Now do what they will produce. What they are doing? Capital B over. Which one? Uh, the side of the side. Oh, sorry. Oh, thank you. Okay. Mm -hmm. I am counting on you people. Okay, hey. How come? Hey, let me know. See, dear, until as you are not going to express yourself, I don't know that you are not getting. Speak out here, people are here to learn. And my point is, in exam, if you are here, if you are abusing me, exam, if you are getting a paper and see, yeah, I am Online match, Pakka, eh? They didn't care. Pakka, eh? Not Pakka, eh? C, D, J, N, E. Yes, sir. Ah. Mendel formulated the law of purity of gametes on the Monoid. basis of monoid Monoid cross now Law of segregation, purity of gametes During breeding the removal of anther from a flower is called Emasculation, Emasculation. On which plant Mendel has carried out his investigation? Given pedigree shoe inheritance of autosomal recessive gene What is the genotype of given parent? Like this also you can get a question. They have given and they have asked it. Now try and understand. A bit tricky here. I think, I think, I think. I don't what they said? An autosomal recessive. It means what? This is affected one. Both copies are affected now. Yes or no? Here, I, we don't know. Let's see. Nobody is getting it. It means what? It is heterozygous. Now again, see. So, yeah. this is the condition of heterozygous. Okay, now? Yes. Huh. First, we first. In first. 
then how they are going to graduate from this. It means this is a carrier. Shall we go ahead? In a cross between individual homozygous for A and wild type, wild type I told you, wild type is yeah, not having any mutation. In this cross 700 out of 1000 individuals were of parental type, then the distance between A and B is super close. Just understanding what I am saying is not correct. How to apply it also. What I told you, more the distance, more recombination. Yes or no? Out of 1000, how many of parental type? It means how much? 1000. How many recombinant? 300. What they have asked, what is the distance between A and B? So, how to calculate? Percentage only you have to calculate. Percentage of recombination, how much? Percentage of recombination, how much? Pakka. Pakka 30%. 300, you got out of 1000 into 100. 1000 into 100. 30% now. And percentage equals to 1% equals to 1 map unit on chromosome. Then, my dear, shall I beg you people to apply, start applying this? Ah, what are you? Not even a single question. What I otherwise I feel myself. Okay. Ah, uh, hey, online match. You people got this, now? Yes, sir. You get another type of question now. Yes, go. Applying the same concept. Yeah. Yes, I just performed the gene mapping experiment in maize. We map the gene on chromosome on the basis of percentage over between the different genes. One map unit to respond to one percent crossing over and recombination. The gene showing more than fifty percent recombination were not supposed to be linked on the same chromosome. I told you more than 50% never possible. Right? In crossing over study down maze, scientists observe the following percentage over between A, B, C, D. Percentage A, D is 10%, B, D. This year only you get this question. So, alignment of different genes, A, B, C, D. Do, do, do. Do, do this. Online batch, fast answer. What is this? A, B, A, C, D. Everyone is getting the same? Same answer. Online match. Same answer. You also get nine. I'll teach you this. Yes, sir. This one. A woman with normal vision marries a man with normal vision and gives birth to a color blind. See. Her husband dies and marries a again. <laughs> Her husband dies and marries a color blind. No, we will not do this question. <laughs> this, that question is for Omar. So I'm a color blind man marries a, a normal lady whose father was color blind. Hey, same, same question. Oh, same question. Skip. What would be the nature of children if a color blind woman marries a normal man? This question is good. Color blind is what? Sorry, sex I don't Sorry, know. Sex link, <laughs> sex link, and recessive. Good. 
Which one? Yeah, I'm not doing anything. I'm not doing anything. Color blind. 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 Color Codominance means both alleles will be going to express themselves. Why? A gene expresses itself suppressing the phenotype of no. That's called epistasis. Uh, genes it will be that are similar in phenotypic effect when present separately, but when together interact to produce a different trait. Allele both of which interact to produce trait which may resemble either of the parent. No, allele oh, each of which produce an independent effect on heterozygous condition. Oh, oh. Right, independent effect. A, B, O, B is there, it will show, B is there, both will show. Clear? Yeah? May not be able to complete everyone, so the thing will be If Mendel might have studied 7 pair of character in a plant with 12 chromosomes instead of 14. Now, in I think New NCRT they have given this. How many chromosomes are present in P plant? Right? So what happened? So if there were 12 only instead of 14, what happened? So less number of chromosomes, then all the genes have to shift it on minimum chromosome, right? Crossing over is happening here. Meiosis is happening in the plant. So independent, not so independent Exactly. Where it is. So independent does not mean now the genes were linked. Yes or no? So two chromosomes we are decreasing. So the genes present on those two chromosomes must be shifted on the 12 chromosome present. Yes or no? Then there must be a chance of linking. Linkage here. Got it? No. Earlier we have 12 chromosomes, right? Now two chromosomes we are deleting. So genes present of these chromosomes must be shifted to the 12 chromosome present. Now they start showing linkage. Yes or no? That is correct. The A option is correct. But C option also makes sense that he might have discovered. Crossing over. Crossing over, how he is able to see that? Yeah. Yeah, it's Mendel might vary. If Mendel has chosen to study traits determined by linked genes, he would not have discovered. Pakka? Yes, Independent assortment. Segregation means they will segregate. That will depend on the ploidy. Right? In case of incomplete dominance, the monohybrid ratio of phenotype in F2 generation is. Everything. Genotype or phenotype on is 2 to 1. This one. Here, and Pian, Pond, Frigator, Pinker, Angular, Different Cross, Mason, this parent indicate what? Incomplete dominance. Incomplete dominance. Incomplete dominance. Incomplete dominance. Incomplete How many different types of gametes can be formed by F1 progeny result from the following cross? Three here, three here, mm -hmm. right? So they are going to produce it, right? Mm -hmm. Everything will be three, two raised power three now hybrid. Mm -hmm. According to Mendelism, Mendelism, which character is shown dominance? Mm -hmm. This question asked this year, not this question. They have given everything. Maybe next year they have reduced some. Terminal position of flower. Green color in seed. I told you people paneer. Mm -hmm. yes, Example. Yes, Why the paneer is green when we are eating? While it's a recessive character, the so dominant is yellow one. Mm -hmm. Yes or no? Mm -hmm. You are not there. Hard to sorry. We'll discuss once again. Every day one or two people is coming. Otherwise the chapter comes out. How many uh, type of gametes are expected from the organism one. which phenotype is this? Oh. Online batch. 
you are also present ah mental law segregation is based upon separation of alleles during purity purity of gametes means डोमिनेटेंट इज द पक्का ना एंजॉइंग द चेयर सर फिर से बता दो पहले इन मोनोहाइब्रिड क्रॉस व्हाट इज द रेशियो ऑफ होमोजाइगस डोमिनेंट एंड होमोजाइगस रिसेसिव सो व्हाट वी गॉट 1 2 2 1 राइट कैपिटल टी कैपिटल टी स्मॉल टी स्मॉल टी कैपिटल टी स्मॉल टी राइट दे हैव आस्क फॉर होमोजाइगस कंडीशन सो वन दिस होमोजाइगस डोमिनेंट होमोजाइगस रिसेसिव 1 2 Okay. Online batch. Any problem in this question? No, sir. Okay. When a heterozygous tall pea plant of F1 generation upon cell thin fertilization produced tall and dwarf phenotype, provide the principle of. Ah. In a heterozygous tall plant of F1 uh, generation, upon cell fertilization, produce tall and dwarf phenotype. It provides the principle of what? Uh, say, you are saying in inheritance and purity of gametes. Second, say segregation only, na? No? Yes, sir. For gamete formation, at least. Da. So two questions we have for homework, right? And uh, whenever you are free, you are free right now. <laughs> Alan Batch, any doubt? Please let me know. Otherwise, this class is done. Yes, sir. Yeah, doubt is there. Manan, please ask here if you are. Yes. Oh no doubt. So I hope the people are not able to do these questions. Uh, well, from that conclusion, I'm driving a change myself, right? Uh, please do read NCERT. Okay. So next class, I will repeat what I have done in class. So linkage and everything. Done. Next class.